If your patient is hypoglycemic and the patient is symptomatic, right? How are you going to treat them? You give them? You can give them glucagon, sure, but you can also give them sugar, right? You give D50, right? You can give them D50 as a push. D50 is a push. It is probably the highest concentration of sugar that you have. Now you say you give D50 and the patient glucose improves, but the patient's glucose starts to drop again and it's persistently low. Say the patient took my favorite drug, sulfonylurea, glimipride. Despite all the new drugs, they're still on glimipride because it's cheap. And the patient comes with profound hypoglycemia. You give D50, you give D50, nothing's happened. What are you going to do? You want to start the patient on what? You want to start them on some form of glucose drip. Now, what kind of drip do you want to do? Do you want to do a D50 drip? D50 drip does not exist. So, what drip can you do? You can do D5, you could do D10, you could do D20, there's D30, there's D25. But most of the time, it's preferred for you to go for a D10. Now, D10, is that more concentrated or less concentrated than D50? It's less concentrated. Because imagine you take 100 ml, 50 is 50% 50 is D50, right? When it comes to D10, if you take 100 ml, only 10% is D10. And D5 is even less concentration. So if somebody is profoundly hypoglycemic, is D10 better or D5 better? D10 is better because you're giving a better concentration. D5 is much, much less. So whenever somebody is hypoglycemic and you want a drip, you're going to pick D10.